Hey everybody, it is Brian, it's Dishing It, and it's whatever the heck this is. <laughs> Uh, I have been trying to do some Dishing It episodes when I have the free time to do it, which is right now. Uh, let me actually turn this down a little bit. Oh, voices, huh? Okay. Uh, and maybe that should be fine. I'm going without my headphones at the moment, so that's why I'm a little unsure about how to, to do this. I just... I don't want to have to wear the headphones all the Oh, the person on the front changed. The person on the left is the same. The person on the right isn't. I don't know what this is. Uh, I know it's pronounced Danganronpa only because when I started this up, that's what a weird computery robot voice said. I don't know what it means. Trigger Happy Havoc uh, doesn't tell me anything except for we're going to be using guns. I even see little crosshairs on the top. Uh, this was highly recommended to me by somebody who <laughs> quite simply uh, owes me a mea culpa because they tricked me a while ago with uh, <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. I'll have to tell you guys that story. So this is, he said, this is supposed to be some anime art in this game that I will like, uh, not what Doki Doki Literature Club was. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. So I've never heard of this, and yet I was shocked. I bought it on Steam. It was cheap, you know, but it's not a new game. This has been around for a while, and there's a bunch of them too, which I didn't know either. And there were like 20,000 plus Steam reviews, and I'm like, whoa, you know, I haven't heard of this ever. So I don't know. I don't know what kind of game this is either, other than I know the art style, which I'm gonna actually see if I can change the faces on the front again. Okay, see that dude was the one who I had before with the with the goatee tied to the right. The guy on the left hasn't changed at all. I don't know who, who these people are. Uh, but so, from what I understand, this should be a, a fun little game. Uh, we'll play for a little bit, you know. I like to just dabble and we'll just see what we go for English or Japanese I wish I could speak another language I can't excuse me logic difficulty okay oh okay all right logic difficulty action difficulty gentle and kind seem pretty much the same to me and I I'm certainly not interested in whatever that means uh <laughs> So I'm guessing these are the normal, but wow, logic difficulty? I, I've i never seen that kind of option in a game before. What kind of game is this? I thought this was going to be some sort of, I mean, I guess it still could be. Is So, okay, it's a shooter, but obviously here's action difficulty. Logic difficulty, so are there like puzzles or, oh, you know what, I bet you this is. Uh huh. I bet you this has one of those like hacking mini, mini games, right? Where that's how you get through the doors or something. Gotcha. Got. What was that? Okay. That looks like it. A... What the hell is wrong with that bit? Okay. This has a weird art style to it. Holy crap. And I don't know what that bear was. 
Oh, it said voices in the options. I thought there was voice acting. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands out. Or, oh boy. <laughs> first, first words I'm reading, I'm already screwing up. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. What does this have to do with what we just saw? Hope's Peak Academy. This is making me feel like it's Persona. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. I can't tell if these words are a positive or a negative, and I don't know what game we're playing here. <laughs> they, they say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. It's weird that they're highlighting words in this narration. Uh, I know... Huh. I was just about to say, seeing this like school crest, I think you would call that, makes me think of Bully. And then it just occurred to me as I was going to say that, that this game is called Trigger Happy Havoc. I hope my buddy didn't punk me again. <laughs> because if this is a school shooter game, this isn't going on the channel. <laughs> so I could be talking to nobody right now. Uh, there are two things you need to attend this school, but the music is so happy. Listen to that. Yeah, right. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I didn't read that sentence. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, oh, you have to have two things. I think you said one, you have to already be attending high school. Oh, this isn't a college. This is a high school. Okay. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Okay. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you are scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school, filled with the ultimate students, is me, I'm guessing? Was me. Hey, all right. I can't make out what's on his hood. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Okay, so there is voice acting. Makoto Naegi. All right. It's a cool sounding name. I like that name. And suddenly there's no voice acting again. Okay. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. What? I can see that? You just, okay, you're a kid, sure, but you're at the ultimate school. Average on the outside, average on the inside, and just bursting with confidence. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. <laughs> wow. With the happy music. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. That's what you're comparing yourself to? Okay. Okay. Oh, he's going to be the ultimate shooter. He's going to be like the fastest gun in the West. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. Yeah, maybe next time, introduce yourself right. Hey, I'm so-and-so. And then go from there, not be like, here's all that's wrong with me. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Ooh, that's good use of gung-ho. I like that. All right, some positivity. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, there goes the positivity again. <laughs> Uh, here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still, I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder. Wait, why is the font was blue? Now it's white. 
I, okay, I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. Survive in a place like this. It's school, man. <laughs> you're gonna make it. To everybody out there in school, you're gonna make it. It's got, it's blue again. <laughs> what? Am I losing my mind? Uh, it's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Ooh, okay. Oh no, you're on a message board? Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. I don't know if I can like hide this text. I want to read this real fast. Uh, 8 20 2010 was this a 2010 game i thought it was a little later than that then again steam doesn't always have like the first release date uh, apparently my friend kind of knows them i guess everyone there's state of the art this year's ultimate pop sensation is going to be there yeah the ultimate baseball pro is going to be there too so jealous it's only for winners i can't read underneath that anyone can't i don't know what that means Uh, and it, I didn't read that sentence again. I'm sorry, guys. I'll play the game. I'll play the game. Uh, it's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. <laughs> okay. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. All right, we saw that on there. Is it one in front here? I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Okay. We saw this guy too. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He is crushing that ball. Like, he's gonna break his hands. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Uh... For anybody who doesn't know how baseball works, high school <laughs> at this point in time is probably getting a little late even for that now. Baseball is really in on getting to the young kids. Uh, then there's the ultimate fashionista. Wait, these are the type of high school students they are? And mine's going to be I shoot guns? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Okay. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. <laughs> what? Oh, he's the bad guy, right? Okay. That's weird, man. But okay. The scary thing is he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. He's the final boss. <laughs> On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, and the ultimate gambler? What the f The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Okay. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. It just occurred to me how much reading I'm doing for a shooter. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. There's nothing tame about house cats. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That though, it, it's changing the font again. The, I'm sorry, that bothers me because if, if the scenes were shifting, okay, you know, you're trying to blend or not blend your font on the background. But anyway, uh, that thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, <laughs> but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. Brian can't speak. That's a bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? 
I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. You're the ultimate shooter. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Ultimate lucky student. Uh, so it has nothing to do with guns? I, I wish I knew what Danganronpa meant. I should have looked it up before I started this, but it's too late now. I'm already like 10 minutes in. They spell it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Hey, you know what? That's actually a good decision. Good on you, man. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. See, why is it white now? But, oh wait, is this when he's talking? And he, so he's talking out loud now and blue is what he's thinking. L let's see if that holds. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Yeah, frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I look down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. Okay, now I know why. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. So apparently I gotta make sure I get somewhere by that time because it's highlighted. The meeting still isn't for a little while, okay, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and I took my first step toward the main hall, hopefully not into that gate that is clearly closed. None of this has been animated. This is starting to worry me. <laughs> This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. We're gonna check out the bill, uh, bulletin board, I'm guessing. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10, 7, 10 a.m. Not that we're gonna show you this beautiful clock. It's the most gorgeous clock you'll never see. The meeting doesn't start until eight o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. People who know me know that that's pretty close to how I can be sometimes. Uh, it makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Dot dot dot. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm me down a little. Ah, learn the map. Gotcha. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. Can the game start? It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. Yeah, you kind of said that already. At least that's what I was hoping for. Oh. Yeah, what the is right? Did you eat a brownie? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, I realized I was looking at my laundry. Everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. I died? At that point, I should have, okay, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. What? Oh, that's some creepy sounds in, in art. Prologue? Uh, sure, I'll save the game. What kind of game am I playing? It's a lot of ellipses. Mm -mm, is all I can get out, apparently. Oh, I was sleeping in class. <laughs> I've never done that. What? <laughs> Wait, no, it's it's anime art, so you gotta be like, Ugh! Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty...
pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but somehow you got into this school, huh? What was I doing asleep here just now? He's not at that school, is he? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. Oh, I thought it was going to be he's like dreaming about getting into this class or this the Hope's Peak or whatever. What the heck is going on? <clears throat> Welcome to, oh, it's green text now. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. So wait, are we at the school or not? Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay, all right, finally the game has started. You can let, use a left stick to adjust your aim. Oh, left stick to aim? It, it's usually, that's not right. Is that right? I feel like, oh no, I guess that's right. I don't play that many shooters. Uh, if you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the A button. In Presto, you'll investigate that object. Okay. Use the directional buttons or the L and R buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Oh wait, is this... Is this an on-rail shooter? I, I like how the tutorial text box seemed to be disappointed in me there. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay, so they said left and right. Oh, it's like cardboard cutout art. Oh, what? Jeez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. Is it? Is it eight o'clock? Because I don't see any hands. It was just after seven when I first got here. Why is there a leopard print or gira giraffe print wallpaper in the school? Has it really been almost an hour since then? Uh, is that a camera? It, yeah, that was my question. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. What? Is that, like, concrete bolted into place? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it, bang, bang. Bang, bang into your heart. Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Yes, thank you, sir. Oh, wait, hang on. There's a help thing. Oh, okay. I don't know that that was actually helpful. Wait, something else. I see the paper. I'm going to save the paper for last. Or maybe I should save the door for last. Nothing on the bulletin board. Is that, what is this? There's a TV. Okay, that's a weird looking TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. I'm actually feeling off. <laughs> so. What? Okay, we gotta read this paper. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Beautiful. I'll have to clean that up later. Yeah, when it dries up and there's nothing left to do. Hey, what's that on the desk? I can't really see. An orientation guide written by a kindergartner? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Oh, that's literally what it said. Uh, oh, something, hey there, new kid. And the drawing of God knows what. This school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... Oh, I just saw. Okay. Okay, so it just went from white to blue. I just noticed... The bar that says his name, Makoto Nayegi, and I'm sorry if I'm saying these things wrong, 
it kind of extended a little bit and it literally said speaking, but I didn't hear any voice acting. So I think I'm right about the white and blue. I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But that, yeah, right there, it says speaking above the A. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I, this is exactly how I'm feeling right now. The game was called Trigger Happy Havoc. This doesn't feel like a shooter. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. Do I know how to get there? I can leave the classroom by pressing the B button. Yeah. Oh. There is something really unsettling about this art. Jesus hallway is kind of weird too. Yeah, purple? Pink? Fuchsia? This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Is exactly how I'm feeling. This is the best fish out of water character I've ever seen. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. How? Oh, use left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down B while moving to run. To run. You can press Y to bring up a map. Okay. Press it again to close the map. How convenient. Okay. Uh, you think you're funny, huh, writer? Oh. So that says in, I-N-N, -N, in the upper right of this map, where I'm facing, essentially. So, wait, okay, that's clearly classroom, classroom. Uh, oh, that's that bear's head through that door, double red doors, a uh, music room. I don't know what that is next to that. I think that's the yen symbol over there. A first aid kit. I think that's bathrooms and then a gym with a room between the hallway and the gym. But why does that say in? There's a, a hotel at this school? Is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what the... What? The movement is... Okay, when it's like... Okay, so the movement's a little funky. Um, But it's fine. I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy. But when you're near a door, look out. That's like, that's the same as this. I haven't touched this, the stick at all. That's weird. I don't think I like that. I don't know why it would be like that. All right. This says Despair Hotel. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they, they absolutely have figured me out. Uh... I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, that's not the way. I'm sorry, that looks like a, a hall. Oh, where's the map? Do I have to go through the, the fancy doors? Okay, at least you can walk with it open. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Really? Oh, is the thing I couldn't identify, is that the, the light chain? Oh, no, it didn't. I feel really unnerved walking down this hall. I'm going to do it a little slowly here. God, it's making me... I don't know, I feel a little creeped out here. Oh, that's an AV room. Okay. Oh, I don't like how it sticks. Does that say? I think that says store. Is this an RPG? Because that said in this said store. So this is some sort of. Is this Persona? Is this like a like one of those oddly named Persona games? That would make sense why it's so popular. 
the nurse has keep out tape on it and there's bars blocking the stairway. Okay. I guess I guess this may, would be persona. I That's weird though. I I don't know. Okay, so I guess the battles are guns. The movement's weird though. I don't remember persona moving like that. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey. Another new kid? Who's talking? Wow, that's a lot of people. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Who's talking? <laughs> so, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Son of a... You know what? <laughs> I think my buddy may have gotten me again. This feels like another fucking dating game. <laughs> so what's funny is for February, I plan on doing a show. I haven't come up with the name of it yet. And I was talking about exactly this stuff, but I don't remember telling him that. So, oh, whatever. <laughs> Did he get me again? Uh, maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Or is it an RPG? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that was weird. That's how each area is going to load up? And are we in a Fallout vault? Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nayagi. Sorry if I say my name wrong, I'm new to it. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. That describes every day. Huh? Okay, he made a sound, I thought he was gonna talk. Uh, I don't know, he seems like a hippie. Whoa, you too? Oh, I can't do, there's too many voices. That was a lot of, he said 15. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Mm-hmm. What the hell is up with your face? So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Whoa, fuck. Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me. Sometimes there's words, but they don't say the lines. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware of the meeting, aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. This dude is in a military uniform, so he must be like the ultimate general. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. I... That's right. Everyone just calm down, listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Okay, this is a dating game. <laughs> Damn it, okay. I'm sorry, I have to vamp for a second. The Doki Doki Literature Club story, for those of you who haven't played it, skip. For those of you who have, I had never heard of that one either. And he kept pushing me to play it and play it and play it because it actually gets to be a really good game after the weekend. Well, those of you who've played it know exactly what happens after the weekend in that game. And it freaked the hell out of me and affected my dreams. <laughs> so, uh, so anybody who, who likes freaky stuff and has not played that game, please do. This was supposed to be a makeup. <laughs> it was supposed to be something else. May, so what I think this is now is maybe it was maybe he was messing with me I don't think so I think maybe he was like here's a real actual dating game boy is this a strange setup for a dating game 
but okay <laughs> you know uh so we maybe i'll turn this into the february thing maybe this is not addition it after all and that means i didn't help myself really get ahead at all huh? yeah because i thought this was an rpg this was gonna be like the last guy the hell now's no time for friggin introductions friggin okay <laughs> Boy, she's creepy. Uh, maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. Yeah, let's get to know each other on dates and buy presents and have more dates and answer questions about things we like. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point, says the sweaty kid. Who I, I haven't got anybody's name, have I? Oh, she looks like the singer. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. Yeah, because that's what this game is going to be. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm going to get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Boy, this video, I'm still in the setup. I'm half an hour in. Uh, I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student, press A to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Uh-huh, sure. It, I'm sorry, are these guns? That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. Yeah, but there's no way that's a real gun, right? And what's with this door? I don't even care about the people. Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't here then, though. Is that where I'm at? Oh, this is messed up. All right, let's talk to Nazi over here. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, he's not a Nazi, but I don't think I like him. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Okay. Whoa. Ultimate moral compass? What the hell does that mean? So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Oh... He's one of those, huh? They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Okay, sometimes they're not actually going to talk. I'm just going to have to deal with that, I guess. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Thank you. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? Yeah, just call me Mac. <laughs> okay, that, that was funny. That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And why is he angry? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. Yeah, this guy is kind of annoying. Uh, that's one word. Okay. Oh. Oh, those, I thought there was a heart rating, but it's word bubbles. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Okay, obviously this is the ultimate nervous wreck. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Wow. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean. A love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. That would really happen. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? What is she doing? What the hell is that face she's making? I'm really... 
I'm really unnerved by something with the art and I can't quite tell what it is. Uh, what? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring. I was talking and stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought, I know what you just thought. Oh, she's a bitch. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. What? No, that's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Any Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex, said the character who talked about how average he was. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Yeah, like, is that Stephen King? Is, like, he nervous like that, or what? Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. I uh, may, when I get a chance, I'll see if I can turn up the voices. I'm not sure that's coming in too clear for you guys. Uh, hi, uh, she's, I'm Say Sayaka or Sayaka? I didn't hear what she said. Yeah, okay, yeah, she was the singer. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka my, my Zono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Like, wait, what was he gonna remember there? I'm... I thought he was thinking that. What? Okay, I, I thought that text was blue. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Did you hear me? What? Was he not... Was the text blue? I'm psychic. What am I playing? <laughs> oh boy. I don't think this is going to last long, guys. <laughs> Although I say that, and it's like 40 minutes. I haven't played anything yet. Huh? Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. No, I think she was telling the truth. Hey, um... <sighs> Sometimes it sounds like they're going to say all the words. Hey, by any chance... Now what? Why am I rude all of a sudden? Yeah, must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? I say to the developers of this game. Um, Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Okay, do we know each other? It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say, but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Are we never going to see each other again? Because that really felt like a, we're never going to see each other again. Who is this dude? The ultimate punk rocker? I gotta stop talking over their name so I know how to say them. <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Oh. I don't remember him. I thought he had like a buzz cut. I recognize that name. Yeah, his hair is not the same. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that suburb, that superb athletic specimen is, not that suburb. You? Seriously? Uh, what's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Yes. Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously? I'm like mega embarrassed right now. About what? Your hair grew out. It happens to everybody at some point. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of a national championship regulation. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Isn't it the same color? Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball. Like, at all. 
I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he was still his team's star player? He's some kind of prodigy. I think they all are, man. Yeah. Whoa, karate fist. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Bass player. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. I knew it. I called it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are the writers in this game in my head? You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm going to be a singer. So, Oh, damn. Damn it. Oh, come on. He's totally a bass player. He's wearing a fucking paper clip on his collar. <laughs> and a padlock on his necklace. Oh, I'm going to be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. Usually bands are a little larger than that. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. Oh uh, yeah, you're hella cool, buddy. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Oh, here's the guy with the weird face. I am Hifumi Yamada. Okay. If you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. I won't be calling you that. Ultimate fanfic creator? Mm hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Like sprites? World of 2D? <laughs> oh, that was a creepy laugh. Well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. Is it? However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, really Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comp you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, it it's about embracing our basest urges. Oh, about our basest urges? No, so you're exactly what I think you are. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're switching people. I was like, where did he come from? Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. This is a long fucking opening, man. I'm sorry, guys. I don't even... Okay, I kind of talked... Is, did she say Aoi Asahina? Um... Yeah, I don't know that I can really edit too much of this down. Hey, uh... I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. So, oh really? I like, I kind of like Aoi. Oh, this is a swimmer. Okay, gotcha. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. Wow. Uh, she is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Ugh, come on, gross. Don't be gross. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Nayegi. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. <laughs> it is that. <laughs> That's a good response. Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Makoto Nayagi. Makoto Nayagi. There is something weirdly fun about reading these lines. I can't explain it. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. Oh, I thought she was like pointing her finger into her head. What are you doing? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? I don't know. You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. I'm going to also say she's the most normal person so far. Hello, nice to meet 
to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Oh, that name's going to be hard for me. Chihiro Fujisaki. The ultimate programmer. All right. The Green Ranger, apparently. Oh, God, is that going to be a thing? They each had a different color, and I swear... Because she's got, like... Uh, I'm assuming she. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's she. Um got like a green shirt thing going on and just had a green background sorry I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this anyway I hope we can get along same here nice to meet you huh what maybe it's just my imagination but have we met before I don't think so we just met for the first time which is why I said nice to meet you okay my guy can be a dick sometimes oh yeah Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Uh, Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going. Timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um. Hey, so listen. Sorry. I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing for now? Mm. Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? What is... Boy, this... I thought she was going to be normal, but she's not normal either. No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. Yep. All the girls just need to make sure they're all liked in these games. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Really? Oh, yeah, so I guess I wasn't sure for a second there based on the name what her gender was, but, oh yeah, look. Sh uh, skirts. <laughs> that, that probably would have been a hint. Alright. Here we have Daenerys Targaryen, who's not telling me her name. We're just staring at each other? Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. Okay. Kyoko is easy. Oh yeah, she didn't say what her power is. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Uh, well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Whoa, okay. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay. Hi, I'm Junko Enoshima. Junko. Charmed, I'm sure. Junko Enoshima. Uh, okay, that's some big hair. She's the pink ranger. Oh, this is the... Oh, I didn't realize she had freckles in the magazine covers. It's weird that they would draw them in here, but not there. Anybody would recognize this one. Hey, screw you. <laughs> oh, there are no freckles on these. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. Known for being a Nyan Nyan, 400 yen a copy, spring edition. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Whoa. What? Wasn't he thinking that? I swear to God that was in his mind, not out loud. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and joke? I think he just called you ugly. <laughs> of course, those are like total. I forgot what her voice was. I'm not going to be able to keep the voices going. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Oh, come on, don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> oh, is she talking about the singer? <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. 
Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. Dude, dude chill out. Okay. Mondo? His name is Mondo? Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> okay. This might be the bass player. Yep, Red Ranger. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... Yeah, how's he doing his hair like that? He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Oh, more people. All right, the only ones left. Good God, I'm coming up on an hour. I haven't played anything yet. <laughs> Visual novels, man. Not into them. Sakura Okami. That's easy, at least. I've seen both of those, especially Sakura, a lot. Ultimate martial artist. Looking Goku-esque. Although, female, I think. I think I think it's female, right? Sakura is a girl's name. Oh, geez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. USA, USA. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Oh, that's kind of rude. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. That's rude. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now, if you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Okay. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. All she did was say hello. Hey. Hey you. Hey you. Yes. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. What? Uh, what do you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Not sure that's such a shame for me. Alright. Name's Byakuya Togami. Ooh. Okay. Byakuya. Byakuya. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Togami is easy. Byakuya. That's not how my mouth normally moves. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Great, another staring contest. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. Huh, I don't know about that. But exceptional is something somebody themselves have done. This sounds like he was just born into a rich family. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. Like a king in training. Oh, the hippie. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Okay, so I was nowhere near close with the uh, voice there. Yasuhiro Hagakure. I think I can do that one. Oh, they're recycling colors. Clear oh, he's the fortune teller? Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the, uh, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant trend-setting. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. It's so true. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Uh, okay, I give up. What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. What did I just read? <laughs> that was just a word salad. 
And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Oh, this guy is high. Nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. That's a good point. Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? And, well, it's a long story. I don't think it is. I think that told me everything I need to know. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. All right, last one. Maybe a save point? Celeste. Oh. Whoa, really? Celestia Ludenberg. She's German. Or thereabouts. Ultimate Gambler. I think I read that one in the beginning. Celestia Luden... Uh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name, but if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Does she not use contractions? Because earlier she said it is also. Uh, you're Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? Well, if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. Okay, so it's not her real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. I would much rather you just don't call me. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. What were they? The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, uh, Lolita? Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. I, I see Lolita tossed around as like a description of things. I don't actually know what that means. They, sh they say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. I'm not interested in dating her. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around here. Good call. We're of the same mind, Makoto. And with that, all the introductions are done. Thank God. <laughs> hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um, lunacy. Except for one. One was normal. Who was the normal one? The swimmer was normal. Aoi? Oh, no. She, uh, I can't remember. She wanted to be called something else. I just bumped into the mic. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I say meekly instead of punching this guy's lights out. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? You see, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Did he just... Uh, just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Yeah. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Aww. I guess I didn't have to read the what the heck part, huh? I'll try and get better at that, guys. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. We're in jail? Uh, school jail? What, like, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Why do you look nuts? You look nuts. Look at you. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't be like, or don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody gets roofied and mickeyed to <laughs> enter this school. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little bit. I don't know. Maybe look into the future and see what the deal is. 
Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Uh, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know I was up way too late last night. I could use a little shut eye. You know, parties. Ugh. Totally not faking my popularity. I could feel everyone's touch and evaporating. But then it began. The game? Can the game begin? My, my grandma and grandmother's house? I said grandma and grandmother's, didn't I? Oh, it's the TV. The, oh, is it that weird bear? Testing, testing, mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Okay, hold on a second. That voice is amazing. I need a drink of water. That voice is amazing. I'm, I'm not copying that. I'm not even going to try. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Yeah. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Ooh, weird. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! That voice is great! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. Oh, I saw that. Okay, I know where that is. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay, I wasn't unnerved before. It just felt like a, a mascot-y voice to me, but that I'll be waiting was a little sinister. Hey, babe. Just looking at me? I know. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well, then, if you'll excuse me, this is totally normal for me. Hey, what? You're going to just take off like that? Oh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. You don't pump with downers, Yasuhiro. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out, too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. I bet there's balloons. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> this is that, then. Yeah, this is that, then. I will see you all there. She's speaking weird. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to go, too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind, and it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I'm going to try and do monotone. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right, but still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Oh my god, I'm still in the prologue. What? Nobody moved. Oh my god, the cardboard cutout thing with them always looking at you? Like, I don't know. So what am I, how do I leave? Because I can't go through the hatch. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. I can skip the text if I need, I, you literally cannot turn. Oh, you pressed B to back out. That was, yeah, earlier they said that. <clears throat> Brian's good at video games. Anyway, uh, wait. Yeah, through, through creepy Greenville to Yellowtown. Oh, turning is so bad. Why is the turning so bad? Like, this is a lot of setup even for a Persona game. There's another camera I just saw in here. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Are you seriously trying to beef up your cred with Juvie? <laughs> okay, that guy's a phony. And why isn't there anyone here walking through the halls? I didn't see a single person. Oh. Uh, that's actually a really good call. There's no teacher so far. This is bad. 
Isn't that like seriously not good? They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. That doesn't make any sense, honor roll student. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. He who dares wins, Semper Fi. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Okay, so he's scared. Hey, where's whoever called us here? Mondo, stop, no running. I too shall go. This is too many voices. Oh, fuck. I'm glad I didn't get a chance to turn up the voices yet. Jeez. Don't leave me here all alone. <laughs> okay, time for some more tutorial action. I like that. There's some funny stuff here. It's not the dialogue. It's the, the whatever you call this text. You can press the Y button to observe the room you're in. To observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Oh. Okay. So. This is another room I can't turn all the way around in. Okay, so we'll talk to this one. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. I thought there was something... Yeah. What is... A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. She's gonna hurl. Go through the door. Okay. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, what's waiting for us there? There's nothing waiting for us here. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. <laughs> was that just set up for nothing? <laughs> See, told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello, is everyone here? Good, then let's get things rolling. I'm sorry, but I just love that voice. Oh, animated stuff? No. Oh, kind of. Oh my god. Are you Dangan Rampa? Huh? Uh, oh, is this Dangan Rampa? So, like, one half of them is Dangan, the other half is Rampa? So, like, an evil, good bear, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing? I don't know why he's here. Or she's here. It's here. Huh? A teddy bear? I don't remember who that was. Uh, you are a teddy bear. I'm looking right at you. I am Monokuma! Monokuma. So, so what does Ding and Rumpa mean? And I am this school's headmaster. Okay. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was it was utterly incomprehensible. Thank you. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was just completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. This dude is nervous for, like, weird reasons. Ooh. That teddy bear can talk. Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Oh, I gotta read his lines, too. I'm going to die with this. I'm not doing their voice. I'm sorry. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Ah, it moved. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote-controlled toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. Am I going to need to remember the Mariana Trench later? 
My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Ah, uh, I see what we're going to do now. I see what we're, this is the tutorial person, isn't it? And I'm just going to get bear puns. Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. He has abandoned the gag, thank God. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning. What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then, let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Ryan's been doing this for an hour and a half and hasn't really played a game yet. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And if two hopes come together, you get a new special hope. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. What do you mean? Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Oh, okay. Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life. Which semester? There isn't one. Excuse me? In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. Excuse me? Excuse me. Yeah, right, what did he just say? Until the day we die? Uh, okay, that animation was unexpected. What is this pose? Oh, but fear not, we have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all the common conveniences. That's the least of our worries right now. Yeah, what the hell, you're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. What am I playing? So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off. So all those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. Excuse me? No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. I'm sorry. What am I playing? So with all of that in mind, Feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. I'm sorry if I sound very excited all of a sudden. I have four times changed my mind about what I was playing. And now I'm completely lost. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. But I guess you can't help it, huh? You are you all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. This music is great, by the way. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now? What's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, oh, but you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Uh, okay, so before he tells us that way, is it an RPG to defeat the final boss? Is he the final boss? Or is it a dating game and it really is a find happiness and love? R really? As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Oh, man, we're not trapped in here. Well, why are the windows boarded, though? 
Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. Excuse, what? If someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. I don't understand what that means. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? Yeah, what do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> oh, that was a great laugh. <laughs> well, you know. If one person were to murder another. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what it says. I'm just reading what's on the screen. <laughs> murder. Yes, indeed. Oh, the music changed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Oh, God. It's going to be a shooter after all, isn't it? The rest is left. Oh, if I played an hour and a half of something, I don't think I'm going to be comfortable with putting on YouTube. The rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. I love that laugh. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Uh, excuse me? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it murdered gets a darkened shadow of despair. And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Thank you for doing that one for me. Ooh. Ooh. Blabbering? What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! Okay, that robot eye. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Did anybody actually say that? Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill, so go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. It is a shooter, damn it. <laughs> Why so much setup for that? All right, come on, how long are you going to keep this up? Huh? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Reveal the trick? Um, yeah, because I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hiro aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I didn't expect him to say that. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What joke? What, you mean like your hair? Oh, snap. You son of a... Mondo <laughs> roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. Did he explode? It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet, which will be firing any second now. He'd locked onto his target like he had a gun. He doesn't have a gun. He's holding the bear. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm going to rip you to fucking shreds. What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Ooh. What is that? Hey, damn it! What? No smart ass comeback this time? Piece of shit! Oh no, is he gonna blow up? Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did... 
Oh my god, it was a bomb? The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. What? But you know, this means that teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey. I thought he blew up. I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. What? There's another one. You son of a bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Well, yeah, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school. Yes. Oh, that's creepy. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. Oh, right. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? I didn't expect the ta-da. As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Okay. Mm. Yes, well, moving on. Was there a joke there and I missed it? This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. There is so much setup. What type of game am I playing? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep on ticking. Can you drown it? And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shoot. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, the same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! So wait, is he serious or what? And with that he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? Nuts! It was nuts. This game is nuts. How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? W what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is, Indeed. if we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? But killing someone, that's... We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? That's what I've been asking. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? The music cut out. To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. 
those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. Okay, so I think it's wrapping up the prologue, finally, God. But I still don't know what type of game this actually is. I, th I think I've been wrong all the way through a at this point. Like, even RPGs don't have this kind of setup. So is it just a visual novel? I don't know. We'll see. Because if it is, this is like the first one that, I don't know. It's, there's something fun about this. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hope so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Yin and yang. Yay, prologue's over. Welcome to despair. The end. Well, surviving students 15. Oh, surviving students. Fi hold on. Hold on. Game. Game. Now I would like you to slow down. Why is it showing me the opening again? Did I It is an RPG? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so after all of that, it is an RPG. That was an hour and a half of setup for this RPG. Holy crap. <laughs> God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, okay, so it said 15 students are surviving. So, okay, you know what? I'm. We normally don't play games longer than what I've played so far on here because we just dabble. So... I'm going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to see how far this keeps my interest now that I see what kind of game it is. And, um, I, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to try, I'll try keeping all 15 alive, uh, whatever that means uh, to whatever the game mechanics are, you know, give it a, give it a real go. Um, but I don't know what to expect. I haven't been able to save yet, though. So, oh, <laughs> hey, look at that. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. I have got to end this episode. It's an hour and a half. I need to just, like, guzzle gallons of water right now. And then I guess I'll play a little more because I don't I don't know if what this is. Uh, oh, I just noticed the icon of the revolver wheel thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to cut it here. Uh maybe see you guys the next time if this ever comes out to see the light of day i doubt this is coming out in 2023 it's probably going to be 2024 if ever <laughs> we'll see so just in case if this really goes up see you guys later